Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to use Jetform Builder Calculated and Repeater Fields to create dynamic designs where user input automatically adjusts calculated values. For this example, I'll be building a recipe ingredients section that updates ingredient amounts based on the number of portions selected. And hey, if you find this video helpful, give it a like and drop a comment. Let's jump in. For the tutorial, I'll be using the free version of Jetform Builder and Jet Engine, since the calculator will use metadata from a specific custom post. As for the custom post type, I've already created one called Recipes and added a post for a sample recipe. Right now it has a simple design built with Gutenberg blocks and I've left space for the ingredients calculator. As you see, I'm working within a specific post, but for multiple recipes it makes sense to create a single page template, easily done with Jet Theme Core, as we've shown in many of our videos. For this tutorial though, I'll keep the focus on Jet from Builder by working on just one post. We'll start by adding a repeater field to our custom post type. In the WordPress dashboard, go to Jet Engine, Post Types and edit the recipe's post type. Now add a new meta field, set its label and ID to Ingredients and choose Repeater as the field type. A repeater field lets you create inner meta fields that can be duplicated as many times as needed for each ingredient inside each recipe post. In our case, this means we can add multiple and unique ingredients, each with its own description and amount. The first subfield will be called Ingredients Title, a text field to store both the ingredient name and the unit for measuring it. The second subfield will be called Amount, to store the numeric value for the ingredient amount. You could use a number field type here, but I'll choose text. The reason is that with the text field I can easily include numbers with decimals when creating posts, whereas the number field would require me to set a specific stepping value to allow entering non-whole numbers like 0.5 or quarter. Now update the post type and proceed to filling in repeater fields for an individual recipe post. To add more ingredients we simply click the Add Item button, which creates a new set inside a repeater field. Once the post data is set up, we can move on to creating a new jet form. I'll start from scratch by naming the form, removing old pre-built fields and adding new field blocks. The first field will be used to select the number of portions, which will determine the ingredients amount. The quickest way to set this up is by using a number type field, where I can set the default value to 4 so users will initially see a recipe for 4 servings. However, depending on the use case, you could also use other field types. For example, a select field would allow you to enter labels as text and values as numbers, which is useful for calculating prices for different products or services. Next, we add the repeater field to the form, which will display the information stored in the post repeater fields, adjusted according to the number of portions selected in the previous field. Give it the exact same name as the repeater field used in the posts. The repeater field will contain a set of subfields which will be displayed as many times as there are entries in the post repeater field for ingredients. To make this work we need to set a dynamic default value for the parent repeater field. In the field settings, click the dynamic source button for the default value, select post as the source, choose current post for the get post ID from field, select post meta for post property, and enter the exact name of the repeater field used in each recipe post. Now the form will automatically populate with data from the meta fields of the post where it is displayed. And we'll keep the restrict access option enabled, as it ensures there is no way to change the default value of the field. Let's add the repeater subfields now. The first two fields are for holding information from the post repeater subfields and to ensure they connect properly, they must have the same names as their counterparts. We'll use the text field type for both, although a number field could also be used for the amount field. The third field inside the repeater set will be a calculated field. Its role is to retrieve the ingredient title, amount of values and portion number from the previous fields and combine them into a complete ingredient description. This is done using a formula that multiplies the base ingredient amount by the selected number of portions and then merges it with the ingredient name. Because this formula includes text and numeric values together, we must set the calculated fields value type to a string. 
Now I'll make some adjustments to the form fields layout, including changing margins and alignment using Jet Style Manager, and then our work with the form will be almost complete. However, if we leave it as it is, users on the front end will be able to see and modify the repeater subfields for amount and ingredient title, which is not our intention. Also, the form's repeater field functionality will allow users to create and delete fields using the provided buttons. To hide these fields and buttons, we need to add a CSS snippet to the theme. For the two fields that must be hidden, I will assign CSS class names while the add and remove repeater field buttons, which would pop up on the front end, have their default class names from Jetform Builder. Then in the admin panel, I'll go to appearance, customize, additional CSS, add the code with the CSS class names and the display none rule to make them invisible in the form and click publish to save the changes. There's one more thing that requires adding a small code to the function's PHP file, which can be accessed through the theme file editor or the code snippet plugin if you're using one. By default, Jetform Builder sanitizes preset values when pulling data from post meta, which can cause issues for non-logged in users who might see empty values instead of the expected data. This PHP code disables that sanitization. Finally, let's head to the post with a spot for the calculation form. Here I'll insert the form using the JetForm block, save the changes and preview the post. Our recipe page now features the ingredients calculator. With Jetform Builder, all calculations, no matter how complex, happen instantly in the backend, giving your website a dynamic edge for various use cases, not just submission forms. I hope you found the tutorial useful. Please like, comment and subscribe. All the best, cheers!